Hey, my name is Adam from Encounter Wargaming, and today we are going to unbox, review, build, and so forth, the Orc Heavy Metal Stage from Tabletop Scenics. So our friends over at Tabletop Scenics decided to send this over and it is very cool, very orky. Just a big old stage. It's in the name. Um, it's, it's got orky looking speakers, orky looking stage frames. It's even like a, like a little perch up top. Um, I don't know, for like, a, like a, a lighting dude or maybe just, you know, an orc standing on guard <laughs> who knows um but they also sent me you can see in the picture here uh there's like an actual band playing on the stage and uh and guess what they sent me the band too so i'll build them up and i'll and i'll show them to you as well and, um hopefully at at some point in the future when i paint everything i'll show you the uh the, the finished product on the painting side too um but for today let's uh let's unbox this um take a look at the frames we're gonna build it up and then i always do like a little size comparison so you can see how much line of sight it blocks um how easy it is to get on and off and and what what uh, size it is in comparison to other models and stuff like that so uh that's all coming up soon um and i just oh. <laughs> you can see the pictures of the band they're like they're like totally those gorkamorka style 80s orcs and they're just beautiful and it's it's awesome i'm so excited to show you uh looks like there's a guitar player there's a drummer um let's see there's a second guitar player or a bass player and uh what two singers something like that so we'll open <laughs> <laughs> we'll open it up check it out um i'm very excited I, I i can't wait to see the back of this thing i've just seen the front and I, I have no idea what the heck the back of it looks like so let's jump in and of course i want to show you one last cool thing because i totally forgot about this part they sent me this cool t-shirt that you can get guns and fungus oh yeah paying homage to our one of our favorite metal bands well they're not really a metal band but rock and roll bands out there the guns and roses there it is get your very own guns and fungus t-shirt okay here it is um so i guess we just got to get this plastic off and of course we get our hobby knife and word of warning always cut from the side so you don't put in a big knife gouge in your nice new mdf terrain um, now it is orc terrain so probably won't matter if there's a big knife gouge in it but you know you know, ooh, ooh, where are these? I don't know where these go. <laughs> Neat, they look like, uh, I don't know, stage lights or something. Neat, okay, let's put that to the side. What a little bonus. Who knew there was some fluoroplastic in there. And uh, all right, that's that. We have a whole bunch of frames. <clears throat> organized by letter of course um whoa dude all right all right all right look at that piece right there just the whole band it must be like a stage sign but that you can't see that on the front picture so it must be maybe it's on the back oh you can kind of see the dude's hair sticking out here interesting i want it seems hidden though i wonder oh, we will see as we build it um all right so that's pretty cool uh but as you see they're they're labeled um by letter so k j i h e g a b c d e f g backwards here so awesome we'll take a look in a minute of course the uh highly 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 detailed instructions for this um this thing is essential so many and and it's they're very specific very detailed color coded for you um, so it'll be very helpful for you as you're as you're building um, And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully this one goes quick. We'll see but, uh, Yeah, let's take a quick look at all the frames. So we saw this cool guy um, This looks like all the speakers. These look like speaker hub caps and then the, the outer shells for them all to look sweet and cool This looks like the stage framing very neat. Oh, yeah, and the the outside of the speaker hubs. Ooh, look at that. Guns and fungus. Blah. 
It's actually a really good logo. Uh, so cool, the two sluggas. Um, awesome, looks like, like a stage entrance, like doors or something on the side. Very neat, just busted pieces of metal, very detailed. Something that these tabletop scenes guys are good at is um, just the level of detail. And, uh, and on these kits, it really matters because it means the laser is traveling around cutting more things, right? And so um, normally that, that slows down the, uh, the, the cutting time, right? It makes it take longer um, to cut, but these guys uh, value quality um, over quantity and that's something to be respected because the terrain is looking really, really good. Awesome. Very cool, big floor panels, super duper. Love the details, all the riveting, like the, the, diamond, the diamond metal sheeting, very cool. Little orky glyphs on there. All right. Now, of course, what I'm doing each time is I'm shaking all these little bits off because every one of these little cuts produces a little piece of, of wood and they kind of just fall out. So you collect, collect them all up, throw them in the trash, use them as rubble on terrain, whatever you want. Very cool. All right, just lots of metal, metal framing. Very neat, very neat. Okay, sweet. So um, first things first, on every, sh every time you do an MDF kit, um, because they're laser cut, you know, you do kind of get some sawdust everywhere. So I always take a damp paper towel and uh, just run it over both sides of the kit so that you're gluing together wood on wood as opposed to um, the kind of the dust. You see that there? So just very quickly over the whole thing. Um, so go ahead, go ahead, do it on both sides of all those sheets, um, A through K, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, and I just wanted to show you one thing before we really get started, and that is the complete band. Super cool. This is a five-piece band with uh, lead singer due to the mohawk. Super sweet. Just pulling that mic stand back, giving his best wog voice. Super sweet. Check out those pants. Oh, yeah, I think that's literally an orc butt crack right there. <laughs> oh man and then we got this uh, dude busting out a little solo right here it's definitely a guitar player going for it just yeah rocking now I upgraded them all to 32s they come with 25s but uh, yeah look at this little uh, vocalist you know you know pump that fist up in the air super dope and you know who this guy is. He showed up, what, in the Super Bowl about, I don't know, five years ago with Maroon 5? Yeah. Come on now. Love that orc. Love that. Is that a cigar? Yeah, that's totally a stogie. Beauties. Well played, guys. And then the drummer. Playing his little drum kit. His little three-piece drum kit. What up? <laughs> awesome, can't wait to paint these guys and just have them rocking out on that stage um, while the games are going on, just making noise up there on stage. So sweet, check those out. You can get these guys. Um, I don't know if they come with it. I should check it out. By the end of the video, I'll check out whether these guys come with the set or not, whether you buy them separately. Um, but there you go. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing those and let's get a, go ahead and build this um, heavy metal stage. All right, so here's our first frame, frame A, and as I always do, um, I just kind of give a refresher on how to pull these things out and how to handle them properly. Um, if this is, you know, old news for you, then just bear with me, you can skip ahead. But basically, the concept here is that a laser goes through this piece of wood and cuts it out, and it'll stop um, at certain points and just leave the tiniest little spot connected. Um, so that's how the pieces stay in. But uh, yeah, you gotta kind of just take your hobby knife and, uh, and just cut them out. So go all the way around, find them. And this is our first piece that we need to take out here. Beauties, and just kind of um, get all those guys. 
and sweet. So then your piece just comes out. Now, so for some of these, um, you may find that you need to like poke out these extra bits that just didn't fall out. Um, they're not uh, they're not attached on. <clears throat> they're just kind of stuck in there from the laser process. Um, the material is you know it's thick, so it just grabs a hold of it, and so you just poke it out. Too easy, and then get these little tiny guys too. Uh, sweet. Okay, so every frame, just go ahead and get get out all the bits that don't need to be in there, um, and you're good to go. So there, that's basically how you cut out a piece. Um, what you want to do too for stuff that's showing on the outside is um, just like remove that little bit of flash from where it was connected by just running your knife across it like that. So there you go. Um, you can do that on that whole thing, and go ahead and cut out all the pieces. Um, one. A all the way up to, well, I guess 5A, there's two sets of columns, um, and one of them uh, you're going to need 6B as well. So go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. All right, pretty simple stuff here. We got uh, these little frames cut out, and it's, it's pretty easy. Um, to assemble MDF, you could use white glue, you could use wood glue, um, but because of drying time, I'm just going to use my super thick super glue here um, all right so let's just uh, just go ahead and put this stuff together so let's see always always go for a little uh, for a little dry fit and basically uh, see where you need to put the glue at so yeah those just kind of line up like that so I'm just gonna drop some glue right down here on both sides All right, I'm gonna take these two guys. A one. Oh. Yeah. You can use my desk as a support. I can hold those two. And then check where this goes on. All right, so. Guess we need glue. Oh, that looks like that's holding itself for a second there. So we'll glue on these sides. And plop that down in the middle. Beauties. So look at that. Cool. All right, so then you get a little support like that. And so go ahead, do the other one, and uh, and then go and attach them on. So these two guys, this one kind of plops in the middle right here. Right meal. Yeah, beauty. So let's dry fit it. Now let's just stick her on. Beauties. Uh, All right, and uh, just go assemble the other one, and he just plops right in there. So go ahead, assemble that, plop it in, and we will cut out the next piece. So got it together, got it in, got the next piece. Now this is a pretty big one, and it fits on in a little bit of a weird way. So just put uh, some glue here, 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 and, uh, and then get some glue on all of this part right here. Um, and what it's going to do is this is going to sink down. But if you notice, it's going to miss the, the top two teeth here. And this is actually going to go in these two holes right here. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And you kind of have to finagle it a little bit to navigate around the corners. But then pop, pop, and there you have it. So there you go. So it's sitting in here with two of the teeth sticking out and it's sitting tucked in there as well. Um, all right, let's go on to the next step. Step number three, you need to cut out pieces eight, nine, and 10, and I'm gonna go do step four as well, and so that's cutting out the big, long um, rebar pieces, the scaffolding, that's uh, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So go ahead and do those two steps, and we'll be right back.
and we're back so got a bunch of pieces pulled out here and I forgot to mention you need this piece here this is integral for this next step that's 11 C and so go ahead take this box piece and uh, very important that there's a small end and a large end okay and just get them on the right side of this thing um, yeah and so essentially what we're doing is we're attaching another section of the stage on here and so you can just plop these guys in uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. The uh, um, <clears throat> spot where the holes are are closer to the edge and further away from the edge. The closer to the edge part goes towards the bottom. Okay. Drop some glue down that edge there. Stick these two together. And we might as well now some glue on this top edge while we're here um, and then the last piece goes in pretty easily as well now so the trick with these is always lining them up the right way all right so let's see how easily we can get it this time so let's get the one in push this one into place Pull this one over, and voila. All right, not so bad. So um, then we have the 14s and 15s, okay, going, uh, going in here. All right, all right, yeah, looks pretty simple. Simple enough anyway. So we'll just drop some glue around there. And then we'll just dry fit this real quick. Yeah, so this is glue along this edge right here. Bam. Too easy. Whoop. I'll just get some glue along this area here. All right, and drop in the first one. I'm just gonna kind of drop it in on an angle and slot it in at the back. Hello, hello. There we go. Too easy. These should just do something similar. Slotting in there. Might have a bowing problem that I have to to hold it for a minute. Um, it doesn't bow. Oops. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 15, 15, yeah. I think I'm putting them in properly. I'm not quite sure. But we'll see here, won't we? We'll see here. Of course, this... It seems like... It's like a lot of extra room right here. It's making me wonder if I'm doing this properly. Let me compare the widths of these. Yeah, they're the same width, huh? Interesting. Hmm. Both too wide and too, huh. Oh, maybe these are the 15s. Maybe I have this in the wrong spot. Well, let's, let's pull this out before it comes too late. And yeah, yeah, I think that's what I did. All right, let's sneak this guy in here. 
I'm getting my fingers too gluey. How do I? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this this fits a lot tighter. <laughs> um, so I'm um, combination of thing, getting glue all over my fingers, but getting a better fit, so. There it is. Oh yeah, there we go. My B, my B, just had it, uh, you know, the wrong way around, no big deal. So what happens when you don't just do it one at a time and you go multiple steps. Pieces aren't numbered anymore when you pull them out. So, well, sometimes they are, but these ones are not. All right. So, well, we'll just get the same deal going on this guy here. Uh, well, you can do this. You see me do one. Now you can do the other. And, uh, and we'll be right back. And we got that one on as well. Too easy. It looks very much the same. And so now we're going to start to put these uh, these cool steps on. And so um, just get a little glue on the back and plug them in. Very simple little assembly here. All right. And maybe I'll just stick a little glue in the corner there too, at the bottom. Uh, and the other one. And then just do them in order. Um, what is it? 21 at the bottom, 19 at the top. Should be pretty simple. Four little steps to get on this stage. To get on the stage? Is that what it's for? Maybe this at the back of the stage. Ooh. Back entrance. What up? All right. Let's see what's going on here. We got one on. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Definitely goes on in a particular way. You know what? Oh, I got these backwards. This one's longer than the other to account for the angle of this thing. So pay attention. Unlike me. <laughs> and now this thing should line up a lot better. There it is. Not too shabby. Got a decent little backstage staircase. Too cool. And done. So now we got a couple more, um, a couple more of these guys to put on, or at least one. And then we start putting on some grating on the sides here. So let's get the last one of these on. Um, I'm going to cut out steps number uh, six and seven and eight and then we'll do all those together and we're back with some of the next steps so first off let's get this guy set up um you've actually let's give this you've seen you've seen me do one of these so you can do this part on your own and it goes in here but this part's really cool uh so this is kind of like um yeah, it's starting to, to block out the underneath of the stage. And so these pieces kind of just plug in um, on this little frame. Set them all up together. Pretty simple. And one more. All right. And then kind of situates itself underneath the stage. Uh, so, that, not exactly sure how to line it up, but it's looking like it goes something like this. Let's just put some glue on and see how we do, because I'm a maverick like that. So, in the image, it seems to me like these bits are under here, and then this bit kind of this spike ah well how about we just kind of push into this corner 
maybe maybe we're calling it a day right there. Oh, no, looks more like that, I guess, ish. Forward a little more, like this corner up closer to this where it bends here, and this. I mean, I just pushed it into that corner there. So, <laughs> who knows? Uh, all right. So um, now we have these bits that kind of angle in and lean against here and cover these holes. Very cool. Uh, so maybe we'll just put some glue. Now we are the change. Singing, singing away. <clears throat> All right, and that leans up against there. I'm watching uh, The Mandalorian in the background when I turn the screen off. Pretty decent little show. Got a little Baby Yoda. I wasn't sure what all the hype was about. Like, sure, I get it. Baby Yoda's kind of cool. But uh, now I get it. All right. So there's those holes blocked off a bit. That's adding some stability, which is nice. And this little guy, piece, what is this, 29C? Is in here, and it creates almost like a little... Uh, walk the plank. <laughs> um, so. Let's get that last one in there. There it is. Great. All right, so that's that section. Um, yeah, so go ahead and do this bit and then we'll do, we'll start to do the next sections, probably cut out stuff for piece for like 9 and 10. Yeah, probably 9 and 10 is good to do together. So let's do that. And we're back. And so what we're going to do is kind of attach a little assembly in this corner here. And uh, so we got some pieces that are sticking in here. And attaching on the sides here. All right. So, let's get those two, I guess, try to fit that. I guess we can put a little line of glue on here too, on the side of that. A little more stability. Beauties. And get on in there. While also plugging in on the side. This is the tough part, lining up multiple pegs at the same time. Tough, but doable. Definitely always doable. Well, let's do one at a time. There we go. The first. And now, and the second. And then, we got this piece. It's like a finishing piece. It just goes right on there. So the third. Um, so with that being said, we need this top piece here to kind of actually fit it all together. Um, but this circle bit goes on the bottom, create the foundation for this kind of uh, yeah, this guy here, uh, which is like a cool, uh, I don't know what you call it. Um, valve thing. <laughs> or like a little, uh, maybe like a little door. Cool, there you go. So you got these three pieces creating a cool little <laughs> valve door here. Um, and so let's attach that on. 
some glue on the end. Now it's on to the next step, which I already have the pieces cut out here, in which we kind of just seal this up. So that's not too hard. Um, so we'll take these walls here, and I guess they just kind of, what do they do? Do they just lean? Yeah, just kind of lean a little bit in there. Seal her up, and then you got some finishing pieces to throw down on top. Missed, uh, missed cutting this off. Clean that up real quick. Beauties. Let's do that. Get some of the corners here. Some on that edge. All right. Very neat love how it's all coming together so i actually think yeah so like this is going to be the front of the stage that's pretty cool i guess this is like a little area where the lead singer can kind of like come out and be like rock out dudes yeah all right and so why not get some of our other pieces on here too? Kind of cover up some of these joints. Right? Cover up the joints? I don't know. It's at least, uh, hmm. At least creating like a cool little bunker here where guys can like see outside. That's kind of cool. Very neat. Oh, misaligned that. Okay, well, and then this guy goes on the top end here. Kind of like that. Beauties. And then this one goes like this here somehow Aha. I think something something like that something a little something something a little ah maybe maybe just like this I'm gonna have to get a closer look at that oh yeah there's another image that shows it sticking out um, but then the picture shows it, the picture on the front, actually, the instructions show like this, the picture on the front of the uh, kit shows it like this. So probably doesn't really matter too much which way it goes then. I'm going to zoom ahead. Yeah, the picture on the kit pretty consistent through it's throughout itself well I know they like try and keep those instruction manuals up to date and stuff so maybe we'll follow that Just get some glue on here not that it really matters too much most of these pieces like this are just aesthetic but there let's shove that on like just like that brilliant so now let's go on to steps uh, hmm yeah I guess Actually, let's just do step 11 real quick um, by itself and be right back. Here we go. So now we got a little riser for the stage. It's just a bunch of these uh, little pieces here to just create some lift. So you can just go stick those, stick those in. I cut them out. I already had them pre-placed, dry fit. So I'm just lifting them out, sticking in some glue. You'll be pretty sloppy with this because there's a bit nice finishing piece. It's going to cover it all up and go on top. 
Um, but it'll be tricky to line up. So I'm just gonna get some glue. All these. And then this will be the hard part right here. Is actually getting them all in alignment. Gonna have to get up on top of this thing. Get out of my chair. Get right in here. So I'm just using my knife to kind of wiggle them back and forth. Change the angle that they're sitting at. There it is. All right. Just got two more to get. So close. There we go. Last one. Pop, pop. There it is. Cool little riser for the drum kit. Why the heck not? Neat little detail. So now we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna start building up the, uh, the back walls of this thing to just like enclose this stage. So let's do um, cut out pieces for steps uh, 12, 13, and 14. Let's start with that and see how we do. And we're back with the uh, walls for this guy. So uh, pretty simple. I guess we just take these and stick them on, eh? So why not? Let's start uh, start gluing. So hmm, where did I start? 52. Yeah, 52 starts right here, eh? Ish. And didn't dry fit anything yet. So it's everything still a mystery. Let's try to fit this on. Let's see how we can get it. Oh yeah, there we go. There it is. All right. Ah, yeah. Cool. So it needs a little encouragement, but we'll get there. So let's do it. Let's just get some glue on here. Too easy. I have a feeling like this thing's going to start to come together real quick now that we're working on this side of it. So this is going to get a big part of the framing done. A lot of the finishing pieces that will go around this will go on real quick too. And uh, then Bob's your uncle. so. Great. Um, I guess just this one piece is the primary way this attaches. This isn't contacting very much stuff. So, see how it goes. This one. Hmm. Getting glue all over myself. Ah. You know, I might have said to put this one on first. I'm not really sure. Nah, they're on the same stage. <laughs> Though, now that you're watching this video, you should probably put this one on first. Aha, there's the pop. Now nah, you're good. We're good, people. We are good. But I am going to try and line these up so that they're flat against each other, as opposed to it's kind of want a tucking. It's kind of it's wanting to tuck in on one side or the other. But yeah, all right, that's that. Um, so now we'll just keep working our way around, shall we? Here we go. Glue central up in here. And I guess we'll put it on this outer wall too. Make everything nice and stable. Not 
its contact points. Whoops. Alrighty. So let's get it all lined up and pop, pop. Yes, there it goes. Beautiful. All right, it's really coming together. And I will hold this together for a minute, I think. While I search for the other one, the other hand. I can dry fit this pretty easy, probably. The reason I'm holding this corner together right here is because there was a little gap. There's not much to hold it together. Um, perfectly lined up, so a little encouragement while the super glue. Oh, what super glue, you ask? That super glue it does its work. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Is that your speed work? So always try and be efficient. One hand holds, one hand glues, never stop going. All right, and get the bottom ones in first. Top one's next. You're cool, so we'll keep going around the back. This is really coming together. It's actually a pretty substantial piece of train. This thing's huge. I love it. So it looks like the contact points are only along here for this one. Definitely get some stuff going along this edge as well, though. And the bottom edge. Brilliant. So just be careful on when you're doing these bottom edge ones, um, how much glue gets on your uh, workspace table. So you may find yourself gluing pieces down to your workspace. And you definitely don't want that. So there you go. That's another big wall attached. Alrighty, now you got this really cool one here that like creates the entrance, the backstage entrance. Very neat, I love it. Um, all right, so, and this attaches, I guess just with these little pieces here. Um, yeah, might as well put a little glue on this edge, this edge, and definitely this edge. Cool. Those two little pegs at the bottom. Line that up. And then get a pop going on right here. We got the pop. Oh shoot, unpop the bottom. I wish there was something to hold these edges together, but just do it manually. This stuff's very porous, so if you use uh, super glue, it doesn't take much time to get a to get a tack because it just soaks right into all the wood. It's similar reason why your fingers stick together when super glue touches it like almost instantaneously. Alright, and the last wall, eh? Woo! Cool! This thing definitely blocks line of sight. This is cool. Very neato. Alright. Come across. 
Cool. All right. All right. This actually doesn't line up on the bottom. Mostly lines up against this post here. So. That goes. Nice. Oh, awesome. Look at this kit coming together. Super cool. So uh, now it looks like we're going to be adding some detailing um, to the interior wall. And then we'll start to build up the upper portions of this. So let's get in our inner detail plates and keep going. And we're back. So we got a whole bunch of pieces to line the inside. I've just kind of plopped them all in there, but pretty simple. Whoops. Just drop some glue on them and uh, slide them in. Yeah. And just kind of start at one end and you work your way all the way across. So, like such, and so, stick some glue on, all right, so go ahead, and they're pretty simple, Keep just keep going on with that, if I run into problems, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on, and I'll, I'll show you how to navigate the problem, but go ahead, stick them all on. Okay, so we got the next set of pieces ready to go. We're going to build up a little platform up on here and uh, and then extend it even further. So let's just get it resting on here first and then we can put all its little wall biddies around it. Um, so again, we got a whole bunch of pegs to line up so you can fight with that for a minute until it gets in there. Sweet, that went pretty well. Then just take all these guys and uh, do your darndest to get them in there. This one against the wall is a little tight. Maybe suggest putting it in before some of the other ones. Otherwise you find yourself knocking other ones over that you've already put in and stuff. And that's never fun. Just get a little glue. And this between those two as well. Uh, just give it a little more stability. And go all the way around. So far, so good on this kit. I mean, I think it's been, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty good. It's been no like super weird spots um, or things that like just didn't really make much sense. Definitely had that before, where I wasn't really sure what to do. I just kind of went with it <laughs> and somewhere I just like there's like a, a specific thing that needed to go a specific way and I just didn't I just missed it um, but this one so far so good all right just keep going around and the next part of this is really cool I'm excited to show you guys <laughs> get in there all right cool cool great um, so now we're gonna build this out a little bit and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna drive through this real quick Pretty sure this goes in here, yeah. So let's just set this floor down. It covers up a lot of these holes and stuff. Didn't have that all the way down. There we go. Let's get it down there. Um, all right. Cool. So that's in. And now we got these like these pieces here is kind of scaffolding type pieces right like that and yeah builds out a whole frame so let's um well first off I missed this piece of flashing right here always get your flashing bits off 
Um, let's get some glue going. I think the only really serious glue parts that matter are going to be th this one. So, meh. Let's see if I can get this kind of sort of in place. Beauties. Yeah, look at that. All right. Um, yeah, and then so this thing. All right. Glue this under here. I wonder what this is setting up to do. Oh, I think it's gonna hold one of the big speakers on. That'd be that'd be dope. Big speaker. Um all right. Cool. Great, and then this goes. <laughs> One piece fell down over there. So let's get you back on. Get back in there. Okay, and one last piece to fit in. Awesome. Cool. There she goes. Look at that. Beauties. That looks really cool. Um, all right. So now we need to do, it looks like what's coming up next is getting a whole bunch of stuff going on the back wall. So <clears throat> yeah, some big scaffolding pieces, just some really cool details that go around here. So and kind of like flesh this out a little bit. So that'd be really exciting. So let's cut those all out and get started on that. All right, so I got a whole bunch of steps ready to go here. So first off, we're just gonna be plugging in a bunch of scaffolding on the back. So let's get some glue on it. And it's gonna be pretty simple, hopefully. Just plugging in, plugging in and going for it. Well, let's just do it, all right? There's actually three of these, so we'll just do, um, they're all very, oops, all very similar in how they go, so we'll do one and you, you can do the other two. Um, so there you go. And then they have uh, pieces that go across, kind of hold the whole mess together. Um, kind of like the other scaffolding bit, that, uh, that is gonna hold up a speaker in the future that we just talked about. Um, all right, you see that? Very simple, right? Let's do that again. Cool. All right, and then this guy, same thing. It just slots in like that. Cool, so there's gonna be another one here and another one over here. <clears throat> but in the meantime, um, we can do some other things. We can do this this door here. So I got the door pieces laid out. Uh, oh, here, and there's, there's a ladder. Uh, let, let's hold off on the door real quick. So you get these two ladders. I'll just do one of them. Um, so you just kind of dab glue in all these little uh, nibs. And then you just take a bunch of these handles, right? And just stick them on. It's a very orky ladder. So it doesn't matter which handles, they just kind of all go any order. All janky like. Beauties. Look at that, love that. So you guys can do the other one on your own time. Um, and yeah, let's get to this door here. 
So very cool um, way that this whole thing works. All right, so what we're gonna do is kind of just put some glue over the whole outside of this. And this is the backstage door. Put some glue around here. And then I'm gonna put some glue around the actual, can you see that? Yes, you can. Around the whole frame here. And a bunch of glue down here. Again, being careful because it's definitely potential to glue this thing to the to the uh, <laughs> to your table. All right, and so I'm just gonna start off, plug it into the floor piece, and then just a whole bunch of these bits that go all the way around. Now the tough part, of course, is going to be getting it to connect on the other side. So we'll see how that goes. So, look at that. Cool. Now for the hard part. Um, so, let's start with this. Kind of goes there. Um, it kind of attaches to this, so let's do that. Let's actually get a little bit closer. <sighs> Boom. Yes, yes, I heard a bunch of pops. Sounds healthy. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. I'm just going to pick it up and have a closer inspection. Yeah, it looks really good. Great. I think that was a success right there. So that's the door. Nice little challenging piece there. Um, and so why don't you attach all those scaffolding bits, uh, build your other ladder and we'll be right back. And we're back. And I noticed I was just kind of zooming on ahead and, uh, I'd cut out a bunch of these door pieces. Um, I've already put some of the pieces in, uh, off camera. So I was just kind of in the zone. <clears throat> and so, yeah, just kind of take those pieces, get some glue on it get those details pop in um, yeah these are these are super cool these multi-layered door like everything being multi-layered with these tabletop scenic stuff is really what makes these kits because the detail is just like that much more popping right like most most mdf train is satisfied just to have like a a laser marker oops i got this thing upside down just like a laser marker to uh delineate the details oh geez Put the glue on the wrong side that's why you dry fit people um, all right yeah most most companies are satisfied just have the laser marks like be the detail but these guys like all these extra pieces to make these details pop is perfect it's so good <sighs> And then it gives you more surfaces that like, if you're doing your uh, techniques, like your dry brushing or anything, um, just gives you more surfaces to catch um, some of that work that you're doing. All right, there you go. So there's that side um, and also this side. Very simple, just one, two, three pieces to, to glue on there. So uh, you didn't miss much, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, got the other pieces of scaffolding on as well. So like, and I put the ladders on climbing up to this perch here. So very cool with that. Uh, I wasn't sure, like the picture showed this thing beside this thing, but I was kind of like, oh, this would be cool if it was like ladder, ladder, but I don't know. It's not how I saw it in the pic, but who knows? Could be horribly, horribly wrong. 
Um, so next, we got another one of those scaffolding bits coming up this side here. So let's cut those pieces out and get to it. All right, so you've seen these before. Pretty simple. Looks like this guy's just coming up and over here. Looking for a speaker mount for the inside of that. And so let's get it going. Badoom, badoom. Stabilizer. Cool. You've seen this before. You know what it's all about. Uh, so the really cool stuff is going to come just. Oh, what did I do? Did I just cut out the wrong piece? No, maybe. Who knows? Uh, 7108. Yeah, those are the right pieces. Where is, oh, do I have it upside down? I do. <laughs> there it is. Nothing like a little upside down. Yeah, good old Stranger Things. All right, oops. Cool, cool. One more piece here. It goes underneath. And this one will probably fall out a few times, but maybe not. Not the other way around. Cool. Put in there. What the heck? Ah, there. Beauties. All right, another speaker stand. Speaker stand. So now we got the big sign. It actually it goes it goes in the back of the stage here. It's hard to tell, um, based on the uh, the picture uh, from the front. But if you cut out 111 and the sign, we can attach that on the back. And we're back. So here's the 111 pieces and the sign. So let's get some glue right in these holes in the back. Really mostly being covered anyway, but uh, so the double peg goes at the back. And then the single pegs at the front with the long end towards the top. All right. Oops. Okay, this is challenging. This is a huge flat piece. I'm trying to align here. <laughs> oh, 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 I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, cool. There it goes. Beauties. All right, so now there's two, uh, two like decks here. <coughs> um, one that's going to go in here and one that's going to go in here. And so we can do that as well right now. Have the pieces cut out for it. And just kind of sticks in there. And there. Um, oh yeah. And so we can get some glue as well for the part that's going to go across. All right. I don't think these two matter which if one goes on one side or the other. 
think they should just plug in like that. And then with a little glue on the top end, I think we can just slide this in here. Nice. Look at that. Very cool. They kind of knocked. Oops. Knocked the stands out a little bit and kind of leaned down. And then one of them fell off. Awesome. There it goes. Cool. Amazing. So now let's plug these guys in with the shorter one going on the left side here. Okay. Let's get a little bit of glue on that. That's what's up. Cool. Look at that. Neat. All right, so there's two little platforms people stand up on. Maybe even dudes perching up over the top, shooting at the back. Who knows? Um, still very cool looking. So that completes that. Let's uh, cut out pieces for stage 26, which is going to be a whole bunch of cross beams uh, over here. And so might get a little intense. I don't know how it's all going to go together. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what's, that's what's next. 26 is a lot of pieces for 26, but uh, we'll get it done. So we'll be right back. All right, I cut out all the pieces and I got a little excited. I already glued in the two cross beams. And so uh, there's not really a secret. It's a little bit tricky because they want it to wiggle around. So you just get your super glue in there and just hold it for a bit. And they did it on both and it was actually really helpful once I got one cross beam played in just to hold them steady. So consider that as you're going and then uh, and then just place all of them in. Um, and again, you may have to wiggle it around, but these cross beams are really what's going to solidify this whole structure here. Um, so I found it helpful to put the glue on the sides of this so you don't have to contact the structure as much as it's drying because um, you don't want to move that around. It's going to be very weak. It's going to be a very weak point. It's going to be very tempting to pick this piece of train up by this crossbeam, to be honest. Um, <laughs> so I have to try my best to never, ever, ever do that. Uh, <clears throat> and then hopefully getting these bottom pieces on isn't too much trouble. But uh, we'll see if we can come up with a solution for that other than just holding it. But, you know, if we have to do that, that's just how it goes. All right. And this other top one here. Beauties. Okay, now let's see what we do with these bottom guys. sticking in. As long as we don't knock it too much, it should maybe be okay. So, zooming along. I'm going to raise this one up in here. Beauties, really coming together. This this is going to be a great piece of terrain for for an orc table. Can definitely fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. Definitely get cover, block line of sight. But we'll do that kind of review in a moment when we're done. Okay, 
last one. And raise it up in there. The uh, the image on the instructions is very misleading on how to put this together. It has this cross me. <laughs> The, the top pieces and bottom pieces in first and the and the two side pieces coming in around it that's definitely not how you should attempt to do it um, highly highly suggest you get the uh, these side pieces in first <laughs> with one stabilizer to hold it and then do what we just did there so wow that was pretty cool um, that's all done there so now we got a bunch of speaker cabinets to make um, and a bunch of uh, lights and so yeah let's let's just let's just get ahead and uh, and get those done um, so I'm gonna cut out a bunch I'm gonna cut out all the rest of the stuff lay it out and we'll assemble speaker cabinets and lights um, and I'll do one of each and then you guys can just go to town on that and uh, and have fun with it so um, so let's see that let's cut out some pieces we'll be right back so we're gonna build some speakers and this is how it goes you just Take all the different layers here, kind of line them up as your dry fit. And I've just been putting glue on. And then layer by layer, keep them lined up just by um, pressing the edges of each with your hands. And you can kind of like with your fingers feel that it's, that it's lined up. So just kind of one finger on each side, make sure it's all aligned. Right, and again, the picture is a little misleading because um, it would show you gluing this to the back seemingly first, but this actually glues onto the front pieces. Um, I almost ran into that issue. <laughs> uh, almost did it wrong on, on my first one. So whoops, but that's why you're watching this video. So you don't make the same mistakes I did. Okay, and then this is really important to make sure you line up properly too. So I kind of looked at it from behind and made sure that I wasn't blocking any of the peg slots, right? So then once I had that together, okay, you want to slather a bunch of glue on the top bitty, all the, just all the sides. Yeah. And there you go. So, um, there's a whole bunch of different sides to choose from. They're kind of, they're all different, but it doesn't matter. They're all, you know, interchangeable. Um, so just have some fun mixing and matching. Cool. So then once you got all those four sides on, just last little bit of glue on this top bit, and this will really seal the whole thing shut and just check your pattern on your back to make sure you have it the right way up um, this one doesn't really matter it's the same all the way around but there you go so there's your four speakers let's move on to the lights uh, one thing real quick with the speakers i forgot these tiny little dots that go um, in the very 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 center so just kind of put some glue in there already and just kind of drop it in and center it up Maybe this one's so tiny. Maybe use my knife to push it around. Get it right in the middle. Yeah, there you go. So go ahead and do that all four. Brings that one more little bit of depth. Cool. So now that that's done, it is time to do our lights. Now these look rather complicated. Um, so I'm sure we are going to screw it up a whole bunch. But I got all bunch of pieces in front of me. And we are gonna have a run at it no matter what so here are all the bits especially these little fragile looking things right here and these guys right here so um, I'm not exactly sure where to start but let's just build one at a time so we'll grab one of these 
oops. And from what I can tell, we take one of each of these half circles and they're going to glue together around this end of the peg and glue onto one of these circles. Um, okay. A little nervous about it. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> okay, so I think I'll start with one of these. Let's just do that. And maybe somehow... This here and get this here close up the circle ish. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Close enough for rock and roll. I'm just going to get like a ring around there for this ring around here. Okay, so there's something. There's a start. And we have to make a box. So there are four of these guys. Okay. And those should attach to. Um, two of these ones with holes on each side, okay, for the peg to slot into. Ah. Okay. There's one, two. Um, if you're doing super good like me, this is probably when you get Super glue all freaking over your hands. Covered. Just gonna be covered. Okay. So that. So that is gonna mark the back and the front. So we need to put one of these on here. You tap into the other pile. Oh, oh, oh. This reminds me, so these plexi pieces go on in here. Um, let's get one out. So I would suggest um, not putting one of the sides on here um, uh, so that you can put this on after you paint, right? Because you do not want to be struggling to get this on while you, like, or sorry, you don't want to be, um, you don't want to paint the plastic. So you need to figure out a way to save the plastic. What I think I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to paint it because I'm just going to airbrush, like take the airbrush and make a nice glow effect. Um, instead of worrying about the green the green plastic but um, you could just stick a ball of silly putty in there while you while you spray paint it and stuff and then pull your silly putty out after and it should be fine um, I don't know I still might do that we'll see we'll see how I feel um, yeah it's just an interesting thing like when you have two different realities like a painted reality and an unpainted reality um, something to think about, right? It's, uh, it was my issue with like green flock bases for a long time. I just didn't like the green flock bases because it didn't match uh, if you didn't paint it. All right, so there's our box. Now, will our box attach to this? Yes, yes, it will. It's a little jangly, <clears throat> but let's get our shutters on. Don't worry about the jangliness later. Mm. 
Okay. These cool shutters. Or, uh, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Maybe shutters. Shutter is a good word. bunch of glue in there and now it's kind of take a second attack it's so wet um, but yeah so basically we have a light assembled though once you get these four once you get these four pieces on well we got three so I'll just hold this for a bit but you don't need to watch me hold it but basically get all four on and uh, and then you're good to go on a light. So that's your light. So we'll be right back when all four are complete. All right, so we got all our speakers and all of our lights built. I also went ahead and built some of the spikes. So just two pieces of glue together, really simple. Um, so time to get the finishing touches on this thing. So, so now's, now's when we're gonna arrange all of our lights and speakers, right? So uh how do we want all this yeah well we definitely got to get two speakers around this and this on the sides of the stage yeah um don't mind the uh the noise outside i think it's an early morning garbage truck all right or a snow plow it could be a snow plow i'm up here in canada and we just had a massive, massive snow overnight. Oh man, the speaker fell off. Okay, you. Go back on. Let's get this one going on right here. All right, that looks pretty good. I like where those two are at. And then I'm thinking, um, thinking, so should they be right up against it or like in the corner? Ah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, well, let's just put the guns and fungus one on and then we'll position around it. Right, so there we go. There it is. Um, yeah, so uh, let's put on a couple lights actually. Um, so I'm going to put some glue in the joint because I don't want them to move once I have them in their place. I'll fill this end with glue as well. All right. So let's see here. Really liked the idea of the one light. Um, hmm. I thought I saw a picture. Oh, maybe not. All right, well, let's go ahead and put the lights. They had the lights on the scaffolding in the back. And then a dude, I guess, would stand on the, stand on the ledge to, like, control it. There you go, there's one. And let's do another one. Okay, so. Gonna glue all around the edge as well. Let's put the other one. 
where did they put it? They put it, oh, like up at the top here. Pointing more like down. Let's see if I can stabilize. Very cool, very cool. Oh, there's a lot of glue on there. Sticking to my fingers. Okay, there's another one in a decent spot. Pointing down. Okay, so now I think, oops. Ah, now we have some decisions to make. Where do we want these lights? Well, you can do whatever you want with your lights. So, if you want, you can fast forward through this if you don't want to see me hum and haw about it, but if you do want to see me hum and haw about it, <laughs> feel free. Um, kind of like the idea of one being like right here, like downish, something like that. That's pretty cool. Right. Yeah. Not bad. And let's just do one on either side of the uh, guns and fungus sign. I think that's a good idea. Cool. Kind of similarly placed. put glue on the edge of it just shoved glue on the inside of it all right there we go I'm gonna angle that out a little bit there it is nailed it now we got some uh, speakers to put on Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I think we'll get it something like right here. I think, yeah, something like that. Think up higher is kind of cool. Also thinking, yeah, they don't hopefully protect these a little. I imagine these lights might break off, um, but that's okay. Terrain's meant to be played with, right? So hold that one. We'll get some glue going on the next one. There it goes. And so now we need to do some spikes and like extra, extra armor plates. Um, so these spikes are pretty cool. Let's get these around the front of the stage, you know, cause you gotta. Yeah, something like that. Definitely create some kind of edging here on the stage yeah sweet looks awesome all right and then um, guys there are like tons I don't know if you guys noticed but there are like tons of these um, spike bits here you can just put wherever, I imagine. Oh, well, you know what I realized? <laughs> it's like a whole piece that I didn't put. 
didn't put on. Um, so, well, can I rip this off? Is it too late? It's not too late. Amazing. <laughs> let's, <laughs> ah, let's get this piece on. Uh, cool. Right, there we go. And I guess the music have to raise this up a little bit. Get it in there. Cool. Sweet. Um, and then so, and we have three extra armor plates. I figured it'd be good just to. Uh, jazz up the floor of the stage um actually let's look at the back walls real quick just to make sure mm -hmm. here i'll put one there i think that one's kind of flat and then let's turn this around and jazz up some of the back parts yeah there's definitely some flat spots here we can jazz up a little bit we're limited in our options with these big metal sheets, but that's okay. Let's put one, oopsies. Bah. Let's put one like here. And then let's put one probably on this wall right here. It's a little flat. So maybe we can cover up these two little ditties with this. Yeah, nice. Okay, and then you get a whole bunch of these little spikes. So let's let's do these two. Overlap maybe over and across this edge here because it's very straight for this um, jank terrain, this jank orc terrain. Oops. And we can cover up some more little nubs. Um, yeah. Do it. A whole bunch of these actually just like bridging gaps on walls and stuff. Um, yeah, that's great. Cool. Do a bunch of that. Let's over here. It's a nice long straight feet. Oh, we should get this corner too. It's a good thing we got a bunch of them. Got some super glue in my hand. Just get it off by putting it on a piece. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is coming together. Look very orky. The finishing touches. Actually, I'm just gonna put an excess on one piece and just dab the other pieces onto it. Okay. Cover up that little nub. Let's see how many little nubs we can cover. The more we the more than we cover the more the more natural it'll look. Um, let's just look to overlap this wall slightly. Oops. And there. Sweet. So you can just have fun with this. And Oops. Yeah, that looks like a good spot for that. Cool. So that's pretty good. That side, maybe we'll take a quick look over at this side. It's actually pretty good on this side. Um, yeah, we'll put a couple pieces. Maybe put a piece right here. 
Um, let's get an access built up, like a little pallet, as you will. Uh, put some right there. So I'm sticking off the edges. I'm just using this to bring just that little bit more dynamic. I mean, the terrain's already great, but like. Um, Some of the some of the times you can find those spots where the MDF terrain is just looking like MDF terrain, right? And these little bits are so great um, for preventing it, that exact issue. Like a couple teeth on these nubs here on this front plate, and beauties, right? It is good to go. Yeah, I'll we'll get a couple. Do a couple on this side right here. Covering up nubs. This piece already got a drop of glue on it. Beauties. Covering up nubs. Awesome. Still have like four more of these things. It's like tons of nubs here. Mm, this stuff, wall's looking a little bare still. Fill it up. And then we are finally complete. Palette piece. You can kind of what you stick out over the top of this wall right there. Why not? This door, rather. Sweet. Oh my gosh, guys, there it is. So good. Oh man. Let's do some model comparison and see how she looks. So first things first, figured I'd show you guys with the full band ready to rock and roll doing their thing on stage. So again, nothing's uh, painted yet. It would look so much cooler when it's painted, but stay tuned for the painting video that is bound to come out soon. Um, but yeah, there they are. I mean, you could probably fit, you know, 20 infantry inside the stage. Um, cool thing about this is you can like, you can actually see in over top, right? So here, let me pull this camera up, right? You can actually see it over top. Most buildings like this are, you know, kind of enclosed. Um, and so it's nice to, you know, have a little more to that. If there's like a huge, you know, if someone's standing up on top of the, the, the what's it called? The Weird Boy Tower? I don't know. Um, and they could see inside, whereas um, you couldn't see through the walls and stuff on the ground over here. So, yeah, really unique play features for this, I think. You could hide a sniper up on top here, which would be really cool. Um, so let's see what it blocks line of sight for. Um, so here is a Helverin. Um, so he could definitely be blocked line of sight. Right? You can't see that guy at all. Right? So perfect for that little Helverin right there. Um, you know, rhinos, land raiders could all hide behind there. Definitely squads of infantry. Um, but now the big question is, what about a full-size knight? This is probably... This here's your Knight Castellan, right? So let's sneak him around the side. So, and then we'll work his way back. So it looks like you do pretty good until you realize, oh, maybe with the sign part. Yeah, but it would be really tough to fully block line of sight. Um, you'd have to be like a little infantry dude down here to just not have the right upward angle, but it doesn't quite fully block line of sight to a knight, but it does really close. So there's there's gonna be some angles where you just won't be able to see a knight at all. But uh, but I think most most of the angles, you probably will be able to see 
the Knight Castellan, um, especially if, uh, or a, or a regular Imperial Knight with a top hat for sure. Cause it'd be like another inch taller than this. Um, so there you go. But a very dynamic, very cool looking, great piece of terrain from Tabletop Scenics. That is the Orc Heavy Metal Stage. It's band to boot to go with it, to rock out on stage there. And uh, that's just fun. That's, I love this. This is a really fun piece of terrain, um, as well as being highly, highly functional. So guys, check that out for your gaming table um, to add to your Orc terrain. The Orkenberg set is tons and tons and tons of cool stuff. Um, totally worth checking out. So um, guys, I think that's it for today. So if you like that video, go down there and hit subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications when future videos come out. You can uh, also support everything we do here at the channel by uh, buying a Spreadshirt t-shirt in the link below or going down to our Patreon. Patreon is where it's at. That is how um, we can do what we do. Uh, so for as little as a dollar a video, you can support everything that goes on. The bat reps, the tutorials, terrain tutorials, painting tutorials, um, all sorts of fun stuff. And so we'd love if you could do that. Um, other than that, guys, that's it for today. So we will see you at our next encounter. <laughs>